Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and I am fresh out of the shower and I decided to do a video for you guys to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the Leave-In Collection by Camille Rose. So here is what I have. I actually have two sets of this. Um, it went back on sale on Valentine's Day at midnight on Valentine's Day. I was on the computer at 11.55 trying to get this and was able to get it. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys to let you see how it works. I have used this one other time and I will say that um, it was a little heavy for me. You guys know I have kind of thin hair to begin with. So I'm doing one side, I'm going to do the left side with the latte and the oil. And I am going to do the right side with the honey leave-in and the oil. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so you see I've already parted my hair. And I am going to, my hair is still wet because I just got out the shower a few seconds ago. I'm going to go ahead and part my hair off into four sections. The way we always do. Ooh, there's a piece of hair in my eye. Uh, let me get two more clips. Here we go. And let's get started. So here's my hair. I shampooed with the the Caramel Co-Wash by Camille Rose. So let's get started. We are on the left side and we're doing latte and leave in. Oh, latte and oil and leave in. So I have one section. I'm just gonna separate this into one more section so I can work a little faster. And here we go. So I'm going to use about this much. The latte is supposed to def help define your hair. So the last time I used this, my hair was not very wet. And I think that might have something to do with why it didn't define it very well. So let's see. Putting a little more on this section which might actually be too much, but we are going to see. This is the first time that I am doing this separately. Okay, to find it's some, so. Alrighty, last time I used this, now I'm gonna use the oil. It left white spots in my hair, and I know that is something that a lot of people said they had. But then it eventually dried clear, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So, I'm not, to me, I'm not getting a whole lot of definition from this. I don't know, guys. Not sure on this one. So, let's take this other piece of hair from the back. And we're going to go back in. I also have a spray bottle right here. Since I do want you to do this on wet hair. i use a little bit more of this. And I'm going to come back to you guys when I get done with this section. Because I don't want to hold you guys up. Because I'm going to finish off with the curl maker. Okay. I mean, there's some definition. <clears throat> and the oil. Let's see. How are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? Okay. Tell you what, I'm coming back when I'm done with this section and we'll do the curl makeup. Okay, I have done this section, and you can see there are some little white um, particles in here. You can see that. So let's go ahead and start with the curl maker. Here we are, a brand new bottle. I'm going to go ahead and spray this again. 
because we all know curl maker, curl maker, <laughs> curl maker is best on wet hair. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get this started. I've used curl maker in the past and um it definitely gives you curls i will say that you have to be very careful with it that's my only thing is that if you're not careful you will use too much and curl maker is going to be flying all over the bathroom and your hair will be crunchy so but it definitely gives you curls so that is no lie and i love the pump on it because you can just pump it into your hand and just go i use just a tad bit more and as you can see i'm just kind of raking this in my hands and here we go so very easy to use yes you see water flying everywhere it's dripping everywhere so i am going to come back once i finish this section and we will start on the honey side okay we are back um, I've done one side of my hair. So now we're going to start on the other side. And as I mentioned, we will be using the honey leave-in along with the oil. Let's go. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Man, my hands are slippery. So opening both of these back up. I'm going to spray this hair on the bottom here. I'll probably spray some more as I do a section also. So here is my hair with no product in it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that just a wee bit more. And now I am going to use the honey. Hopefully that is not too much. And this has a warming sensation when you apply it. And it smells absolutely wonderful. Now you can see it looks like I actually got more definition from the honey than I did from the latte. But the, the um, latte was the one that said to give you definition. Right? Yes, I'm confused too. So let's spray this. And we're going to put the honey on again. Love the warming sensation of the honey. Love it, love it, love it. Oh God, I think I forgot to put the oil on, didn't I? Whoops. Okay. I forgot to do the oil. I am going way too fast. Okay, so we're just going to do both of these at the same time and put the oil on. So what do you guys think? More definition? Yes? Okay, I'm going to come back when I get done with this side and then we'll do the curl maker. Okay, I'm back you guys. I have this last section right here. And just as a reminder, this is the honey side. I'm going to spray the hair again. Because as we all know, Curl Maker loves soaking wet hair. So, I just want to do this last section. And I guess you guys can see I have white balls here too. So, I'm really not sure. I thought it was the latte giving me the white balls, but... It seems like the honey is doing that too, so I'm confused. 
But with this honey, a little goes a long way. So I think that I put too much honey in it. And that's the reason why it is foaming up the way it is. So for me, there is definitely curl maker, a learning curve on these leave-ins. Um, as I said, it seems like a little goes a very, very, very long way. And I guess I'm just going to have to learn not to be as heavy-handed with these. Last section, and as you can see, curl makeup and water is flying everywhere. Okay, I'm trying to get my part together, but this is it. I am done. So let me take a look to make sure I've got everything. Okay, I am done. So here we are. This is the left left side so this is the um latte side uh -oh. and on this side is the honey let me know if you guys can see a difference or not give me your thoughts your opinions all that good stuff so I just kind of wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison since I had not seen anyone do one of those yet. So, I have white balls regardless. So, I guess it is not the latte that was giving me the white balls. I don't know. I will insert a picture once my hair dries so you can see how it looks dry. But this is it. Let me know if you've tried the um, collection. And let me know your thoughts. Once again, this is the Leave-In Collection by Camille Rose, the honey, the latte, and the oil. Let me know if you've used it. Let me know your thoughts, what you think. Let me know if you can see a difference in my hair between the latte side and the honey side. And give me your thoughts. As always, have a great day. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Hey everybody, I'm back. I thought I would just come on really quick to let you guys see my hair before I said I would insert a picture, but why not just let you see it? So here we are. This is my hair. Let me turn around so you guys can see how it looks. I don't really see a difference in the side that was done with the honey versus the side that was done with the latte. Um, on the left was the latte and oil mixture and on the right was the honey and latte, um, the honey and latte, the honey and oil mixture. I don't really see a difference in, in the curls or, or anything like that. So I think it's, it's even, you know, I'm happy. Um, my hair is shiny which it's very rare for my hair to be shiny. So I'm happy with that. And um, this curl maker gel, I had used it before, but it had been a long time. And the whole soaking wet hair thing is just like, you know, cause in that respect, you have to give yourself time, you know, no on this day, I'm not going anywhere for a while so I can afford to have my hair soaking wet before I put this gel in to make sure that it works properly. So I'm very happy with that. Um, it came out beautifully. And like I said, um, this is my second time using this collection of products. Um, like I said, the first time when I used it, I layered the honey first and then I did the oil and then the latte and I just thought it was too much for me so I think this is a good combination for me to break it up and to do it um you know break it in half and just use the oil with one or the other and just call it a day or you know I plan to use all three separately also because I do have some other Camille Rose products so 
I am happy. I think it came out great. Like I said, my hair is shiny and that is rare. The curls look great. It's been about four hours, so of course my roots are still damp, but the hair on the ends is dry, so it's not crunchy. So that's a great thing. So I'm happy. So just wanted to come back and let you guys see, say hey. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a beautiful day.